Adventures, it's your helpful zombie here with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Woohoo! Today I wanted to share with you some new info we got about the game. First off, New Horizons will not allow cloud backup. This is something I know several people are going to feel either okay with or very much against. Many of us used our save from the night before as a way to undo some of the things we did at the current day that we kind of weren't happy with. And now New Horizons will have autosave, replacing the need to put your character in bed at night to save the day's activities. With this news, we understand that the ever nagging Mr. Rossetti will be out of a job. Although some of us aren't so heartbroken over that as he was a bit of a pain in the butt, but maybe he'll return to us as a visitor or maybe dare I say a villager? Who knows? Tell me what you think. Let's talk Amiibos! Yes! I'm so excited about this! Amiibos will be usable in this game. In what ways, I have no idea. But the fact that all my Amiibos will still be put to good use in a new Animal Crossing game is so very much what I wanted to hear. They also mentioned cards, but they didn't go too much into that. I'm hoping maybe we can utilize our happy home designer cards, as this is something I collected and still have. I love these cards so much, they not only brought us new clients, but they brought us new items, and that would be super cool to have in New Horizons. With Animal Crossing New Horizons, we'll be able to utilize the touch features we have with the Switch console. Mentioned was the My Design elements that we saw in New Leaf. I personally am hoping we can even use touchscreen to move around our furniture and get better decorating options as we saw in Happy Home Designer. Which is the best game ever, who else agrees? <laughs> the game will be dock friendly, meaning that when your Switch is in the docking station, you won't feel like you're missing out on touch features, as playing with the Pro Controller or Joy-Cons still lets you do everything you want without needing to get up and retrieve your console. The Nook phone is something that I know I am very excited to play around with. We saw that this nifty tech piece lets us view our sky miles, call villagers, check our DIY recipes, and more. When asked if there was any hope for a companion app, the director stated that they were not looking to create anything of the sort. The only app that might be needed, or will be needed for most, is the Nintendo Switch Online app for voice chat. However, I know a lot of us will probably be using Discord to talk with our friends and play together. Crafting is a feature I am super, super hyped about, and when I learned that some recipes can't be crafted without ingredients found only in certain seasons, that was even more exciting. Yep, some things that you can craft have to be done during certain seasons, or at least with items from those seasons. I'm wondering if we can store items from the different quarters for later usage. Say, if we need snowballs, if that's an ingredient we can use, maybe we can put them in a dresser for later. Who knows, but I'm so ready for this. <laughs> During one interview, I heard them say something about hosting events. This was something I hopped on immediately as I was super excited to think that maybe we can host parties for our villagers and friends playing online and co-op with us. However, that could have been said as in hosting the world for you and your friends to play on. Alright guys, this is all the info I have on Animal Crossing New Horizons, but as more bits come out as we get closer to March 20th, 2020, I will continue to cover this game. Please consider subscribing, I am so close to my 2000 subs goal, oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I love talking about this game and going back and forth in the comments, so please drop your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Zombie Girl, and I will see you later. Bye!